number one. Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think is in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have and I have a few things. Everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. 40 years ago, March 27, 1975, it was 40 years ago, that's this past March, I was walking out of college. I had a 1.7 grade point average. I hope none of you can relate. I had a 1.7 grade point average. I was sitting in my mother's beauty shop. They still call the beauty shop now. What they call it? Yeah, I was sitting in a beauty parlor. I'm sitting in my mother's beauty parlor. And I'm looking in the mirror. And I see behind me this woman under the dryer. And every time she looked up, every time I looked up, she was looking at me. She was looking me in the eye. I don't know who she was. And I said, you know. She said, somebody give me a pen. Give me a pencil. I have a prophecy. March 27, 1975. She said, boy, you're going to travel the world. I speak to millions of people. Now mind you, I flopped out of college. I'm thinking about joining the army. I didn't know where I was going to go. And she is telling me and I'm going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. Well, I have traveled the world and I have spoken to millions of people. But that's not the most important thing that the sex that I had. The most important thing is what she told me and what she taught me that day has stayed with me since. I've been protected, I've been corrupted, I've been directed. I kept God in my life and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. So stick with him in everything you do. If you think you want to do what you think I've done, then do what I've done. I stick with God. Number two, fail big. That's right, fail big. Today is the beginning of the rest of your life and it's going to be very frightening. It's a new word out there, it's a main word out there, and you only live once, so do what you feel passionate about. Take chances, professionally. Don't be afraid to fail, there is an old IQ test. There was nine dots, and you had to draw five lines with a pencil. Within these nine dots, without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. So don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big. To dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. And they ultimately feel disappointment. So have dreams but have goals. Life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. I try to give myself a goal every day, sometimes just to not cut somebody out. Simple goals but have goals. And understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline, which you have already done. And consistency every day, not just one Tuesday or miss a few days. You have to work at it. Every day you have to plan. Every day you heard the same. We don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. And in this text, tweet, talk word that you grown up in, just because you're doing a lot more, doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. Remember that just because you're doing a lot more, doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. Don't confuse movement with progress. My mother told me, she said, yeah, because you can run and play all the time and never get anywhere. So continue to strive, continue to have goals, continue to progress. Number three, you'll never sell your hole behind hers. I'll say it again. You never sell your home behind a horse. I don't care how much money you make, you can take it with you. They should have tried it, but they got robbed. That's all they got. You can take it with you, with you, and it's how, not how much you have, but what you do, with what you have. We all have different talents. Some of you can doctors, some lawyers, some scientists, some educators, some nurses, some teachers. Yeah, okay, some preachers. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is helping others. Nothing's better than that. But why is this selfish? Because the gratification, the goodness that come to you, the good feeling that I get from helping others, nothing's better than that. Well, one of two things, but nothing's better than that. Not not jolly and big house I have, not big cars, but it's the joy. That's where the joy is in helping others. That's where the success is in helping others. Finally, I pray that you put your 
sleep way under the bed tonight and so that when you wake up in the morning you have to get on your knees to reach them and while you're down there thank you for grace thank you for mercy thank you for understanding thank you for wisdom thank you for parents thank you for love thank you for kindness thank you for humanity thank you for peace thank you for prosperity say thank you in advance was already yours so that's how I live my life that's why one of the reasons where I am today say thank you in advance for what is already yours true desire in the heart for anything good is God's brought to you to send beforehand to indicate that it's yours already I'll say it again true desire in the heart that is that you have Whatever it is you want to do, that thing that want to do, help others and to grow and to make money, that desire, that is, that God's proved to you, sent beforehand, ready to indicate that it's yours. And anything you want good, you can have, so claim it, work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back, pull someone else up, each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Thank you.